Hi everyone, I'm Jonathan, a student reporter with Invention Convention Worldwide, and I'm here with Natalia, Addie, and Liv with their invention. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. <laughs> <laughs> good. All right, how are you guys? Good. 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 Could you tell me a little bit about your invention? So, Love Yourself is a Christian-based self-love and mental health app targeting um, girls aging 12 to 25. Yeah, basically how it works, kind of like she said, you log in at the beginning of your day, you share how you're feeling, why you're feeling that way, and then throughout the day, the app will send you recommended Bible verses and quotes to help you with your anxiety, and you can also search for some yourself. And then at the end of the day, you log back into the app, and you tell how your mood has changed. Awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. So, what was the inspiration? Um, we all know like the struggle with mental health and like self-love in the world right now and we know that it's a huge problem that we all struggle with and we know kids are friends and just people at our schools who struggle with it mm -hmm. and specifically we wanted to help the youth to resolve it and just like come up with a solution to help this big world problem. Awesome, awesome. So like how does it work? It's an app and then it sends push notifications to you? Yes. yes. Great. And how does it know how I'm feeling? Like, what type to send me? So we have um, one of our forms is called a mood tracking form. Mm -hmm. And it'll ask you questions like, how are you feeling that right now and what's making you feel that way? And then based on that, it'll kind of adjust and send you certain quotes and, and, and verses mm -hmm. based on your response. Great, great. I love it. I love it. So whenever you were going through the process, did you guys have any roadblocks? And if you did, how did you guys go through it? We had a lot of roadblocks. Um, <laughs> um, I think the first one was that, like, the specific app, like, design we had to use, because we went through, like, a bunch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And whenever we finally got to drop form that maker we kind of used throughout our day, it still kind of, it didn't have everything we wanted, but we still got everything that we basically needed. Yeah, and when we were, like, creating it, we changed the colors just for more aesthetic and calming feels and, like, different verses and different, like, ways to make the membership more personal because we also have a membership. Awesome, right. awesome. Great, so yeah, whenever you tell people about it and you show them it, what's been the response? Mostly, um, there's the big question of how is it different than other apps similar? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And our answer to that usually is, ours is Christian-based and we yeah. did the research and I don't think we found a single one that was Christian-based. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. And it's also completely free which is different, and most people just said that it was a great idea, especially coming from the youth to help the youth. Right, right, exactly. I mean, like you said, you guys know the struggles with mental health in the world today, and so the fact that you're able to use invention and invention education to not only solve this problem, but solve it in a way personal to you with your faith, it's mm -hmm. incredible, so it's Thank awesome. You. Thank you. So, I mean, it's your first time inventing, right? Right, yes. So making it to nationals in your first year, that's a huge accomplishment, but what is it like to be here? Nerve-wracking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, nervous and exciting at the same time. And then, like, the Ford Museum is just, like, a great environment. It's so, like, incredible. And it's great to see all the inventions and, like, yeah. different ways, like, other people, like, maybe like us, have made things and they've gone this far. Great, yeah. great. I mean, yeah, so talking to new students, seeing all the projects. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's it been like to see other inventors just like you? Um, it's been a little scary <laughs> because there's some that are, like, <laughs> like, yeah, extravagant. <laughs> and yeah. Ours is just this little colorful board over here. And then we have all these people with all these graphs and mm -hmm. all the research. <laughs> <laughs> like, the entire board is based on research and stuff. Yeah. Right, right. But, for sure. But, I mean, also, inventing is all about solving problems. And right. you guys are doing that. So, mm -hmm. don't think, like, your project or your invention's any less because it's helping people just mm -hmm. like any other one is. Yeah, we also have a lot of passion, yes. and our parents keep telling us that's like the big thing, and so just your passion for your design and to like show that to the judges. Right, right, and I mean, it's so incredible to see you guys doing this work. Like, Thank of course, you. of course. So, what's next? Ooh. Good question. <laughs> well, we hope a we'll win, but yeah. we don't know, but obviously, like, I hope just like to work on the app hopefully more and maybe create it, like, to be real, because right. honestly, as we've grown in this, like, journey and we've started to, like, actually like understand it mm -hmm. it's been like we've been more pushed to like actually help the world in this yeah i love it i love it so before doing invention convention learning about how to invent things if you wanted to help the world would you know what to do uh, not know. necessarily probably <laughs> as much yes. as we yeah. do now of course but yeah cool of course and mm -hmm. 
participating in an invention convention, going through the process of making something, what skills have you learned that you can apply to your life in general? Teamwork. Teamwork. Yeah. <laughs> yes, a big one. Like with just the bumps in the road, like we had to mm -hmm. learn how to work it out together. Right, right. So would you say inventing is a lot more fun working in a team? Yes, yes. definitely. Because you're not all in and you yeah. can really just learn from each other. I'm so happy that like we saw you at the lunch. We were able to talk to you guys because mm -hmm. like it's really near and dear to my heart to invent and focus on helping people, especially with infusing your faith in it. I absolutely love that. And the world needs a lot more of it because I think we can go so far with that. So seeing that you guys are doing it, it inspires me because it's like, look at you guys doing this. Like, <laughs> if I do it, I'm not the only one and there's strength in numbers. So it's just so incredible yeah. to see the work that you guys are doing and just love to see it. So. Thank, you. Thank you. Of course, of course. Yeah, so, I mean, is this gonna be the last time you guys invent? Probably, wait, is it? No, well, so it got changed. So next year, mm -hmm. apparently, we're also able to do it for se yeah. our seventh grade year. Yeah. But I don't know. That was kind of brought up. I don't know if it's. Um, yeah. Our teacher said seventh through twelfth is like now allowed to do it. So hopefully we'll yeah. be back. But who knows? Right. <laughs> and so if there isn't a competition, but just life in general, if you find a problem, do you think you have the skills to create a solution through inventing? It all depends, <laughs> like what problem is. If it's like a really small problem, yeah, I could, maybe. But if mm -hmm. like it's like a worldwide problem, it's like really like trying to struggle, even like as professional people, like maybe not. But I mean, it's, but it that kind of shows like this is a real world problem that's very broad, like Natalia said, and we've been able to basically like understand it and maybe like try to work on it and conquer it. And so yeah, I think that we might be able to like help solve other problems too. For sure. I mean, yeah, mental health, it is a huge problem that needs to be solved, but you guys took a step forward in trying to help that, and that's incredible. So congratulations on all the work you've done so far. Thank you. Thank of you. course, of course. Well, thank you so much for being with me, Natalia, Addie, and Livy. And on behalf of Invention Convention Worldwide, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>